And, and I like I like Zane that travels with Greg Steer, uh, the Dare to Share Tours. Zane's a pretty cool guy. He's one of those guys that uh, he uh, he likes to he likes to uh, surf. He's one of those surfer dudes, you know. He's really cool. And he talks about Auckland being awesome. And you know what? I have to agree with that. Because some of the most awkward times in my life become the most memorable times in my life. And awkward in times when I share my faith with people, it's awkward to talk about Jesus in this world. It really is. It's not natural, is it? You think it is? You haven't really faced it then. But you go out and start talking about Jesus in this world, you're, you're going to get some rejection, I promise you. Okay? Because you know there was times in my life too where I was on the other side of the chair, the other side of the pew, if you will. The pastor would be preaching about whatever subject it is. I would feel the Holy Spirit. I, I would feel God doing something in me. And I'm like, okay, sure. What are you going to do with this? Let's hurry up and get this church service over with so I can get out of here and I'll feel better. And maybe I'll pray this week about it. That's what I'll do. But the times when maybe I felt awkward, I felt like the pastor was talking right to me. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, Brother Richard? I mean, that's what you feel like. Man, man how, he's just talking to me. You know, why is he picking on me for it? You know? and that's, that's not it at all, is it? It's God talking to you, not me. I'm just a messenger, is all it is. And God knew who was going to be here. He, know, he knew what y'all needed to hear today. I didn't. And so, that's an awkward moment sometimes because then we have to make a choice. Then we have to realize something. Do, do, do I really... I have to ask myself these real questions, you see? And there's a lot of times, honesty, I, I don't want to deal with honesty sometimes. I don't know about you all, but I don't. You know? The kids always tell you the truth. You know? Your hair looks bad. You know, you're, you're, you know, and I'm not going to go there, but you know, they just tell you stuff that you don't want to hear. And sometimes we just don't want to deal with truth, do we? We don't want to deal with you know, reality and issues. And so we choose other avenues in our life to get away from it. Don't we? We do that. But if you will just deal with truth for a minute, and if you ask, what is truth? Like Pilate asked. We had an awesome opportunity this past week. Some guys were just badgering this other man, this other brother in Christ. They were just badgering him. And they said, he said, Shane, you got to bail me out. I'm like, I can't do it. What's going on? And I, I just told the guys it was just really giving them a hard time. I said, look, I said, I'll just tell you this. If you just ask for truth and you really want to know what truth is, I promise you this. God will show you truth. <clears throat> he will. You'll find it out for yourself. Right? You'll find out what truth is if you really ask. That's all I said. And there's a lot of other things to talk about, though. That's what, that's what I'm saying today. If you would just ask about truth, what is truth? And ask God about you. You see, that's why me and Becky, we, we don't get into telling y'all what to do. We don't get into that. We don't believe that's right. I don't want to be a micromanager over your life. That's not my place. I just want to encourage you all to ask about truth. What is truth? And then let God deal with you. And then respond in a way that would honor Him. And so, as they sing and play, deal with this awkward moment. And know that God loves you. And He wants you more than anything else. He wants you more than life because He gave it up for you. He gave His life for you. So that you could be for Him. Think about that.
the miracle of God being in us and what that does to us. The miracle of a life that was dead, living for this world, now being brought to life to live for Christ, to live for God. Made known today the miracle of a life that what the scripture says now is a new creation. A miracle. If you today have received that, if you today have confessed that and believed and trust, there's something that takes place in you, and that is now as a response to God loving you, you begin loving Him. You begin in a relationship with Him to get to know Him more and understanding what it means to give your life to Him and what it does to you. It's amazing. Amen. I hope you all have a great day. And as you leave from this place, know this, God is good. All the time. God is good. Have a blessed day. Merry Christmas.